Welcome to Manitoba Bushcrafting Interviews. I'm Alex, and we got a package in today, guys. This is my new sleeping pad. My old one had an R value of 4.4, and just wasn't cutting it in these minus 20 to 25, maybe even high, lower than that temperatures. And I originally wanted the uh, Thermarest Neo Air X Therm because it had an R value of uh, 6.9 going by the old R value standards. This one has an R value of 6.0. The pad, like I said, that I've been using for the last four or five years had an R value of 4.4, and I made that work all the way down to negative, uh, negative 30. And, uh, this one I should be able to push well into the negative 30s if I pair it with a little reflective pad underneath it. So let's dig in. I do not want to poke it. This, hold on a second. So yeah, this pad, um, where my old pad was two and a half inches thick. This pad is three and a half. So it's got a lot extra cushion. Um, and it is, here I'll try and get this open and then we will talk a little more about it. Um, I'm either going to do a test night tonight, it's supposed to be minus 28 tonight, or tomorrow, which is supposed to be the low, lower, or yeah, the lower, <laughs> let me just think, tomorrow's supposed to be minus 20, so that's not too bad. I can definitely do that. Wow, they package this good. Okay. I forget the name of the store that uh, sh ships these and sells these. But they're out of Montreal, so here, I'll just snip it from here. It does look like it's in a cardboard box, so still didn't get that tripod. My wife's uh, getting sick of my shaky videos, so she was saying pick up uh, even a cheap dollar store tripod, and that way I can... Uh, <laughs> Use both my hands, because this is getting to be ridiculous. This is probably my last purchase of the year for anything big. Um, anything after this, I might get like a camp pillow or something like that, and canisters for my jet boil and little things like that. But nothing, nothing extreme for the rest of the year, I don't think. Um, if everything even works out. Hold on a second, I'm gonna just unwrap this off of camera. So this is the XPED Sinmat 9 in medium. This pad's kinda cool, it's got a built-in pump. It also is compatible with the Schnozzle pump bag which is just like a big dry sack with a little valve on the end so you can push air into it. It didn't come with one, but uh, you can pick them up really, really cheap. And uh, But it does include a built-in pump. I've heard and watched videos on YouTube that the pump isn't very efficient in really cold temperatures because it's foam. And I'll show you how to use this. Uh, in a little more detail right now, it's just me and my friend and the kids. My wife is uh, at her sister's house, so we'll have to wait until she gets home to really take a good look at this. But but uh, I've researched it pretty heavily and it seems to be decent. The reason I didn't get the Xtherm is I could not find the Thermarest Xtherm anywhere. That's kind of cool. The locking mechanism on this draw cord is the exact same that's on my tent for the guy lines. So, I do believe this pad is made in Switzerland. Here, I'm just going to read off the stats here. So, it's rated to minus 25 Celsius. It weighs 915 grams. Uh, it's made of polyester. Um... Here, hold on, I'm reading the wrong language. Uh, made of polyester. Wow, nothing's in English on this. 
Hmm. Is yeah. Quality materials. It says superior baffle construction. Um. I'm just I'm just looking at the little pamphlet here. Takes up five liters in your pack. Uh. Our value of six, like I said, that's going by the old standard. The new standard, I think it scores 5.2, but my other pad's based off the old standard, so I'm just going to go by that for now. Five-year warranty, ooh, that's cool. Um, flat valve technology, I do like that, because on my Sinmat, uh, the valve sticks out and it, like, pokes you in the face. I usually turn my pad around, but sometimes I don't, and I end up getting poked in the face by the valve, so a flat valve would be nice. But I'm going to go hang out with my kids. We'll dip, dive into this a little more. I might do a test camp with it tonight in the yard or tomorrow. Not too sure yet. Okay, guys, see you in a while. Okay, so here's the stuff sack it comes in. Uh, as you can see here, the dimensions. I don't even have to read that or put that on screen. You guys can see. Uh, it does, since it came from Canada for once, they did not tamper with my repair kit, which I do believe there's a seam sealer and stuff like that in here. Maybe a piece of fabric. Let's just see. So yeah, uh, yeah, there's seam sealer in there and then there's the two types of fabric and repair instructions. So I'm just going to leave that in here. Because that could come in handy for patching my tent, patching the pad. Okay, so here we go. This is the pad rolled up out of its stuff sack. It's pretty large, but uh, I'm by, I'm by. <laughs> there's my daughter in the background. I'm by. Okay. So here it is deflated. That's where the pump is, but you flip it over. It is on the short side, I've noticed. It's supposed to be six feet long, but this doesn't seem like it's exactly six feet long. Here's your purge valve to let air out of, so easy uh, deflation. Here's the intake valve, and then there's a little valve right here that you can see, because when you pump it up, this, this paddle stay flat on the last pump. So if you want to fill that baffle, you just pinch this, and the air will flow back from inside the pad into the pump and give you a full baffle on that side. So I opened the inflation valve. Then as it shows here on this diagram, you cover the hole with one hand, press with the other, with both hands, press with both hands, covering that valve on the downstroke and then lift your hand off of it and let the sponge or piece of foam go back up and then do that over and over and over again. So I'm gonna try this out for the first time off camera. Okay, but As you can see, it's starting to, oh, maybe not with that focus. It's starting to inflate, and I've done probably 60 pumps. Uh, they do recommend that you let this foam part here that you pump on loft up for 24 hours, and I didn't wait that long, so. It's gonna take probably about 100 pumps to fill it up this way. And like I said, the, it, you can get a pump sack that clips on to right here. Uh, so you can pump it up that way, which will be a lot faster. So I think I'm gonna end up picking up one of those eventually. Cause this, I can tell, is just gonna be a real big nuisance in the cold. So it's fully inflated now. And this part here, the sponge part is deflated. So, we just close that, and then right in here somewhere, right here, is the uh, that little valve, and then you just let it go. The air comes back into the pump area, and it's inflated. So this is nine centimeters, or three and a half inches of loft. I'm gonna lay on it and just see how cozy it is. <sighs> oh, 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That, that's nice. Sitting on it, my butt does bottom out, but laying flat, it uh, it's perfectly. Uh, the length is perfect for me. My head doesn't hang off. My feet don't hang off. So it's just right by by a hair though. Okay, so if you're taller, if you're over six feet, and you're looking at the Sin Mat Nine, definitely get it in the long version. Definitely. Or else your feet will probably hang off of it. Okay, we'll see you when we're doing the test night. Like I said, it could be tonight in minus 28. Or it could be tomorrow in way more mild temperatures. But I think I want to push it. Just see how it does. And if I do do that, I'm going to end up putting a reflective... Uh, a piece of reflective uh, insulation underneath it like an insulated pad just because minus 28 that's serious cold so you don't want to mess around in that I like it I'm pretty pleased with it if you are one of those people that likes to sprawl out definitely look at the long wide versions of this pad um, I had to go with this width because the tent I just bought has a very uh, narrow inner tent. So yeah. I did some mods on the tent too. Some Somebody, one of my subscribers helped me with the tent and how I, I was having trouble pitching it and why the fly was so high off the, the ground. And that is because, I'll show you, actually I'll show you when I set the tent up. But I added little paracord loops to the ends so it's not going to wear out the actual straps on the tent. And, uh, yeah, there was, I was pegging it out wrong. So I'll show you that when we get the tent set up. Very quickly, I'd like to make another note that I'm, I've been trying a different way of packing, and that is packing my sleeping bags in my bag without their stuff sack, just so it fills all the nooks and crannies a little better uh, than if I was using my stuff sack. It would leave empty gaps in my pack, but this way... The whole pack is being used. This is a crazy large setup that I got on here. I'm going to uh, tone it down a little bit because I'm going to do a, a not a very long but a medium length hike where I'm going to be spending the night probably in a ditch. Maybe not right in the ditch but like in a field on the edge of a field and uh, camping that way. I found, uh, originally the route was 35 kilometers, but I found a route that cuts off a bunch of kilometers and it turns out to only be like 26. So I'm going to be doing that once the weather is appropriate for that. And yeah, I'll be hiking that. So I'm going to have to get rid of a lot of stuff that, like all my bug out stuff and just basically take the necessities instead of doubles of everything. So that's what that's the plan this is what I was talking about with the the uh, pegging points before I was pegging to to this because it was like tension so tight you couldn't see it but then uh, one of my subscribers pointed it out that this is how it's supposed to go you pull this bottom part out kind of like this one here I was just saying on this one because my hands are really cold right now you pull it out and that way you can I put the paracord on there that so it doesn't wear this out and that way you can tension it with that little tab that I was using as a pegging point to get it nice and taut so that's pretty neat wow definitely pitches nicer I forget the name of you but uh one of my subscribers told me how to fix this problem where I couldn't get it taut and it looks real nice now. I'm very happy with this setup. I got the X-Ped pad in there all pumped up. <laughs> I'm going to give you guys a heads up right off the hop. That integrated pump or built-in pump, <laughs> that thing's horrible. <laughs> I'm just letting you know. 
I'm gonna have to get a pump sack for it and uh, that'll be better. Right now it is minus 28. My hands are on fire, they're so cold. Uh, but it's supposed to chill out tonight. Like, it's supposed to get warmer, so. So we will be back. I'm gonna leave it here until I'm ready to come back out. Bye.